Hello friend, I am very happy to meet you on this podcast program today. We all like to be prosperous in life and also successful in life. Who doesn't want to be? Tell me. Today, let us look into the importance and duty of meditating on the word of God. In the Old Testament, Joshua 1.8, we read like this. Do not let this book of the Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you will be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Success was not guaranteed unconditionally. God was not here giving Joshua mere good advice which he would be free to listen, which he would be free to obey or not as he might desire. But instead, he was giving him a commandment which he was to obey. And that too, day and night, that is constantly, it's an ongoing process. And this commandment was not for Joshua alone, but for you and me and for every single believer. Romans 15.4 says, Whatsoever things were written in the past were written to teach us and for us to obey. God told in the book of Jeremiah in uh, chapter 7, Obey me and walk in my ways that it may go well with you. God expects and demands that we shall be an obedient people, keeping, observing and practicing whatsoever he has commanded us. When we say that He is our Lord and Saviour, then we need to look to Him at all times and in all things for His directions so that we may know for sure what to do and not to do in different kinds of situations that we face every day. He has bought us with a heavy price. He has paid a heavy penalty for us. So He has all the authority to command us to obey and we simply need to obey Him cheerfully. It was a binding force on Joshua's life, a divine authority. So it should be on our lives too. We need to walk by his word. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. This was a warning given to Joshua. It's just not a warning for him alone, but it is for us too. If we really need to please God and be prosperous in whatever we do, then we must come under his guidance. You should come under his authority. You shall meditate on it day and night. It is one of the most important means to receive God's grace and also to grow spiritually. It's not optional whether we obey or not, but obligatory. We have to follow. It is compulsory. Something God has commanded us to do. The question now is, how much time do we spend each day reading the word of God? And then only comes meditating it. Do we faithfully meditate on God's word on a regular basis or do we struggle to read even a single chapter? Many times not much attention is given for it. The usual excuse by those who neglect is we are very busy and we have other responsibilities to do. A Christian author he says like this if this is your excuse it means you are acting in your flesh trying to do things on your own. But God is willing to help us always in all that we do. The real reason is the deceit of our evil lot. It is not lack of time, but lack of heart for the things of God. Jesus said in Matthew 6, Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Remember this, what most occupies the heart will engage the mind. For our thoughts always follow our affections. Even the least things are boring, tiresome and burdensome if you have no delight in them. For example, if you are interested in a TV show, even if it is late night, we will sit and watch. In Second Chronicles 15 we read, If we neglect him and his word, he will neglect us. In the book of Haggai, God says, Consider your ways. Give careful thought to your ways on how you are living and change accordingly to my plan. Meditation on the word was not a task but a joy to the psalmist. For he said, Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. 
Even King David delighted in meditating the word of God. God may not be interested to listen to our excuses for not meditating on his word. Surely we are not having great responsibilities like Joshua and David who really had. If they could find time to meditate, then we should definitely make time to read and meditate his word. It is just not simply reading it or hearing it, but going over it again and again in our minds. We must live by every word that comes from the mouth of God in order to be a blessing to many. God's word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. May God bless you all. For feedbacks, please write to us to info at fibaonline.org or WhatsApp us to 9163642521640.